We also think genomics in the healthcare space. What's going on investors? My name is Dio. This is Frankla Investment. In this video, I am going to share with you guys what Akinvest CEO Katie Wood thinks about the future of genomics. And of course, I am going to share with you another video about Dr. Sven. He works for Bionic Genomics. His overview of what happened last week at the ACMG event. So before I continue, take a look at the uh, market right now. I mean, Semiconductor is bleeding heavily. All these stocks are bleeding heavily. And of course, Bionic Genomics right now is down more than 8%, guys. So let's get to it. Bio Nanogenomics had its largest present to date at the ACMG meeting that just ended with 16 presentations featuring OGM or optical genome mapping data. Here we'll give you a quick overview of the five ACMG presentations that featured postnatal analysis data, which covers children and adults with suspected genetic disease. First, Dr. Mark Ebert from the University of Kentucky spoke in a session called Hot Topics pushing the boundaries of genome sequencing. He explained how thousands of genes uh, cannot be fully analyzed with NGS because they contain repetitive sequences, but that long range technologies such as OGM can detect variants in these dark genes. He showed an example of how a large repeat expansion causing ALS was sized accurately with OGM, something no other method can do, and how OGM resolved the complex rearrangement that caused Parkinson's disease in the patient. He stated that long-range technologies are ready for the clinic right now, but that whole genome analysis using long-range sequencing from PacBio or Oxford Nanopore uh, is just not feasible now because the cost per sample is too high. While Sapphire can easily collect more than 1,000 X coverage of the human genome for only $450 per sample. Dr. Somaya Fahiminia from the St. Justin Hospital at the University of Montreal showed how OGM can create a full picture of the inversion of the F8 blood clotting factor, which is one of the main causes of hemophilia A, which is not possible with other methods. Hemophilia A occurs in about 1 in 5,000 births, and testing for it in high-risk families is important to avoid unusual bleeding events. Madhuri Hedgede from Perkin Elmer Genomics discussed the performance of a clinical assay they developed on Sapphire for the diagnosis of FSHD, a form of muscular dystrophy. They used BioNano's specialized and focused FSHD analysis tool as the basis of their assay, which they claim is a promising method because it requires less input DNA and eliminates the need for radioactive labeling, uh, unlike the standard method of southern blood. Dr. Andy Peng from BioNano Genomics showed examples of how OGM can detect the duplication of chromosome arms or entire chromosomes and large balanced and unbalanced events in a single assay. And lastly, Dr. Dong Zhang, also from BioNano, showed preliminary data for the upcoming and focus Fragile X analysis software for OGM. Fragile X occurs in about one in 4,000 boys and is a most common single gene cause of autism. That's why testing for Fragile X is part of major testing guidelines in cases of autism and intellectual disability. The BioNano and Focus tool will automatically size the repeat that causes Fragile X. And in 64 samples, the tool showed 100% accuracy in distinguishing disease-causing genes from normal uh, ones. This concludes our summary of ACMG. I hope you found this video as informative and please follow us here on this platform if you don't already do so. Thank you. We also think genomics in mm. the healthcare space. Uh, we, for the first time, thanks to DNA sequencing, again, costs have come down low enough. DNA sequencing is going to introduce science into healthcare decision-making for the first time. We can honestly say that uh, until now, uh, more than half of all healthcare decisions were in some part made through guesses or experiences. Now we're gonna have the data. What has mutated in your genomic profile? What, what in the six billion bits of code in your genome, what's gone wrong? It's like a needle in the haystack. What's gone wrong? For the first time, we'll be able to identify exactly what's gone wrong and with 
CRISPR and other gene editing technologies and gene therapy, along with artificial intelligence. So it's this convergence of DNA sequencing, right. artificial intelligence, and, and gene editing. We're going to be able to cure diseases that we never thought mm. it would be possible to cure, including cancer. Certainly, wow. we'll be able to discover cancer in stage run one. Uh, a lot of companies, uh, Invite, Exact Sciences, uh, are helping us do that. And if we're able to discover where the mutations are, now the technologies are coming along that we'll be able to cure them. In stage one. That's the next big thing, yes. That's incredible. I, I'm so short on time, but you know, like other trailblazing women, you're a very successful leader. So what do you guys think about the, you know, the future of genomics? And of course, what are you doing today? What do you think about what is going on right now with the market? I mean, we retail investors are getting our backside seriously whooped by short sellers today. I mean, down over 8%, guys. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe. I talk about BNGO. Of course, right now, the stock is bleeding heavily. But you guys know that, you know, I have been making videos since it was two US dollars and we are still way above that level. So there is always downtime and there is always uptime. I believe now is the downtime of this stock. That's why it keeps bleeding. But at one point, I believe it's going to find a bottom. And finally, we can see light at the end of the tunnel. I'll be your boy Dio. See you in the next video. Please remember to let me know what you're doing in the comment section. Bye bye.